A couple of episodes ago, we told you the story of American violinist Isaac Stern and Chinese conductor Li Delun, who believe so much in the universal language of music that they travel through China listening to young musicians. That journey was documented in the film From Mao to Mozart, that included this special performance by a Chinese folk orchestra. It was a moment when music transcended politics. That filmed in 1979, the year when Jimmy Carter and Deng Xiaoping normalized the U.S.-China relationship after decades of diplomatic silence. But another indirect legacy of that turning point in modern history lives today in a small hamlet in New York State. Bard College Conservatory of Music is a leading school where uniquely talented undergraduate students study for a double degree: a bachelor's in music and a separate bachelor's in a subject other than music. The dean of the conservatory is Tan Dun, one of the world's best-known composers, conductors, and recording artists, who grew up in a village in Hunan Province in China. Tan Dun's work covers many genres, including his soundtrack to the film *Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon*. A UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador, he is the recipient of a Grammy and an Oscar. The conservatory is also renowned for its U.S.-China Music Institute, probably the only institution of its kind in the world. It offers programs in Chinese instrument performance and brings Chinese music to life. The key figure is Cai Jindong, director of the institute. Originally from Beijing, he began his conducting career with the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra, and since 2012 has served as principal guest conductor of the Shenzhen Symphony Orchestra, which he has taken on tours across America. Today, classical musicians from China are well known to concert audiences around the world. In addition to Tan Dun, pianists such as Lang Lang and Wang Yijia, and violinists Ning Feng and Lu Shixing, that tradition continues to the next generation. The Menuhin competition, dubbed the Olympics of Music, and named for Yehudi Menuhin, features many finalists and prize winners from China. But less well known is the reciprocal journey from Chinese music to countries including the United States. The U.S.-China Music Institute is a vision at Bard to complete that two-way exchange, so that students from anywhere can study Chinese instruments. Chinese instruments are incredibly diverse. Like their Western counterparts, divided into sections like strings, wind, brass, and keyboard, they traditionally fall into eight types based on the materials they're created from: silk, bamboo, wood, stone, metal, clay, gourd, and skin. Some of the best-known examples are the pipa, erhu, and gu zheng. There have been glimpses of Chinese music on the international stage that play on the five-note pentatonic system. Yo-Yo Ma's Silk Road Ensemble, conceived by the world-famous cellist, reminds us of the ways in which music, like globalization, has brought us closer together. The U.S.-China Music Institute is a year-round experience with its own faculty and professors from the Central Conservatory of Music in Beijing, 
who teach in person and via video conference and perform with bars, musicians in festivals and at concert venues, including Carnegie Hall and Lincoln Center. Culture is a way to understand people and their communities, and music brings that to life at a time when our world is rapidly changing and at a time when no matter which country we're from, binds us together as global citizens. I'm James Chow. Here's more from Bard's U.S. China Music Institute. I am James Chow. You're watching the China Current. Follow us on social media at the China Current.